Now to an inspiring story. A teenager who survived a crash as a little boy but lost his parents is chasing his dreams. You might remember the story about the Barry family. Peter and his siblings, Aaron and Willa, their parents were killed in a distracted driving crash in 2011. Peter and Aaron were paralyzed. But today, Peter and his cousin Noah, whom he calls his brother, are sharing big news with our Chris Costa. At 11 years old, Peter Berry already knew a lot about overcoming adversity. If you're not paralyzed, you don't know. Like, I want people to be educated. Peter wanted to teach others about the obstacles he overcame, like losing the use of his legs, the lives of his parents in a distracted driving crash in 2011. The boys grew up um, very quickly. They had to. The children moved in with their aunt, uncle, and cousins, cousins that soon felt like brothers and sisters. And it like, kind of creates a bond that, like, it's, it's almost, like, unbreakable. Peter's spirit, especially on the court, <laughs> turned him into the number one wheelchair basketball recruit in the country. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without the people I was surrounded by, my supporting cast. My coach, Trice, taught me to stick my chest down, keep my head up, and that's really the only option I had. All across the country, young men and women are making commitments to play sports in college. The Berry family's blood, sweat, and tears are paying off as Peter and Noah sign letters of intent. Noah to play tennis at Cal Poly, and Peter to play wheelchair basketball at the University of Alabama. We live under the same roof and we're doing this together. <laughs> um, it's pretty remarkable um, and I'm just grateful, you know, to have him there and uh, share this experience with someone. Whatever obstacles are put in your way, people can accomplish anything and, and I think we can all learn from that. Learning that it's about getting up after you've been knocked down. It's a tall mountain to climb and I feel like we're about at the top. In Houston, Chris Costa, KHOU 11 News.